This is Hina, the voice behind Dr. T. Before we proceed to the video, how about hitting the bell icon to get notified every single time we upload a new video. And hey, you can also check out our playlist on our channel for more awesome videos. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Got it. Hey everyone, Assalamu Alaikum. This is Hina and you're watching Dr. Teeth. Today we are going to learn what amelogenesis is and what are the stages of amelogenesis and basically how an animal forms. I told you what amelogenesis is. <laughs> I gave you the definition. Anyways, okay. So amelogenesis, it is formed by two words. We have amelo and we have genesis. So amelo refers to ameloblast. These are the enamel forming cells and genesis means formation. So, ameloblasts are forming something and what they are forming, they are forming enamel. So, amelogenesis is the process of formation of enamel. Now, let us see in short how actually enamel forms. So, first thing is these ameloblasts, they will secrete enamel matrix protein and these enamel matrix protein, they will be degraded and they will get mineralized and eventually what will form is the enamel. Now you must be wondering what enamel matrix protein is. So enamel matrix protein, it consists of 90% amelogenin and 10% non-amelogenin. So the majority is amelogenin, all right? And non-amelogenin, which is the 10%, it has proteins like enamelin, tuftalin, and ameloblastin. So now that we know what enamel matrix is, let us see, let us go through the steps of enamel formation. So we have three steps. We have the secretory phase. We have, no, no, we have the pre-secretory phase. We have the secretory phase and then we have the maturation phase. So we have three stages or say three phases. We have the pre-secretory. Obviously that means that before the secretion, the stage that is there, that is the pre-secretory stage. And then we have the secretory stage where actually the enamel matrix is secreted. And then we have the final one, which is the maturation stage. Now, what happens in the pre-secretory stage? Now for this, I would love if you are very clear about the advanced spell stage, but if you have forgotten, it's human nature to forget things. I also forget things a lot. <laughs> so if you have forgotten that, what you can do, you can just pause this video and go check out the video of advanced spell stage and there just concentrate on the inner enamel epithelium that we had studied. We had the inner enamel epithelium and below that we were having a dental papilla, right? So this inner enamel epithelium, this will form the ameloblast, okay? So in the pre-secretory stage, there is formation of ameloblast from the inner enamel epithelium. Now in the secretory stage, these ameloblasts which have formed in the pre-secretory one, they will form the enamel matrix protein, right? Now in the maturation phase, the ameloblast will do some kind of, you know, uh, mischievous activity or um, you know <laughs> some kind of activity that will lead to the degradation of the enamel matrix that was laid down and then eventually there will be maturation or say there will be mineralization and formation of enamel. So this was the broader sense of how enamel is actually formed. I hope you got the point. Now let us see the pre-secretory stage in detail. And if time permits in this video, we'll also cover the secretory and the maturation stage as well. But if not, I will cover it definitely in the upcoming videos. Do let me know in the comment section below if you found this kind of teaching or tutor activity helpful or you like the previous one better than this. Just let me know in the comment section and I'll stick to that only. Okay. Okay, so let us start with the pre-secretory stage. Now the secretory stage is divided into two stages. We have the morphogenetic stage and we have the differentiation stage. So in the morphogenetic stage, we have the changes happening in the shape, okay? So what will happen? The cells of the inner enamel epithelium, they are kind of low columnar and they have a centrally placed nucleus. But when they form ameloblast or when they start to form the ameloblast, the shape of the cell, they will kind of elongate in size and the nucleus will be peripherally placed. They will not be central anymore. They will be peripheral and changes will also happen in the cell organelle. Now you will tell me what changes will happen in the cell organelle while this ameloblast formation is happening. Now while our baby ameloblast was forming, it gives signal to the underlying dental papilla to differentiate into odontoblast 
and these odontoblasts these are the cells that will form the dentin so the first layer of dentin will form and then this dentin will give signal to the ameloblast again so that they can start the enamel formation so it is kind of give and take relationship or you can say aankhon aankhon mein ishara ho gaya so the enamel first gave signal to the uh, dentin or dental papilla to form the dentin and then when the dentin is formed when the first layer of dentin is formed it will give the signal to the ameloblast ki bhai ab shuru ho gaya banana theek hai 